Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create WordPress post with Perplexity AI. So do you also wish to create WordPress post in minutes? Then this video is definitely for you. So in here, I'm on the same. So I'm running an e-commerce store and for that, we regularly post on our WordPress account. So now to streamline this process, what I want is that as soon as I add a new content request in my Google Sheets, automatically with the help of the same details, Perplexity AI should generate the content and with the help of that content a new WordPress post should be created and further the post link should be added to my Google Sheets again. So to do this we are going to create a connection between these applications. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to create WordPress post with Perplexity AI. So as you know that I'm running an e-commerce store and we regularly post on our WordPress related to our products. So now what I want is I want to set up an automation where Perplexity AI generate blog posts based on product features. So these AI generated blog posts are automatically pushed to my WordPress site and published directly. And also the published WordPress post link would be added right over here in my Google Sheets. So this automation streamlines content creation, keep my store updated with fresh products information. So to do all of this, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And as soon as we are going to click on sign in, it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we are going to click on access now, it is opening my dashboard. And to start with this automation, we are going to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations. And over here on my dashboard, you can see all the folders that I've previously created. So if you wish to create a new folder or a subfolder, you can go on this hyperlink which says learn more. And now it is asking me for the workflow name. So I want the workflow name to be how to create WordPress post with Perplexity AI and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens An action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. And you can also understand the trigger commands the workflow and the actions are response towards that same command. And in order to start with our automation, we have to select our trigger application. So for my trigger application, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets because I want that as soon as I add a new content request in my Google Sheets, automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it. And now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row. And as soon as we are going to do so, it is giving me a webbook queue. So we are going to use this same webbook URL in order to create a connection between our Google Sheets account and our Pabli's workflow. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow this help text. So I'm going to copy this webbook URL and then we are going to open our Google Sheets. And as you can see that this is the sheet I want to create this automation for. So for that, now after opening this sheet, I'm going to go on extensions and then add-ons. And then we are going to go on get add-ons to add an extension right over here in order to connect our spreadsheet with our Pabli's workflow. And over here you can see search apps. So we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks right over here. So I'm going to search for it. And as you can see the same, so we are going to select it. And as soon as we are going to do so over here, you can see Pabli Connect Webbooks. So I'm going to open this. And as you can see that I've already installed this extension. That why it is giving me the option of uninstall. But if you haven't installed this, you're going to get the option of install right over here. And you can install this extension right from here. And after installing this, you have to refresh this spreadsheet. It is a really important step to refresh this spreadsheet. And after doing this, we have to go 
one extension again and as not you're going to do so over here you probably connect where books will appear so now from here we have to go on initial setup and as soon as we're going to open the initial setup it is going to ask me for the sheet name where book url and the trigger column so over here you can see that my sheet is sheet one so i've selected the same it is asking me for the web book url so we are going to paste the url we copied from our workflow and now it is asking me for the trigger column and over here you can see that it is saying the trigger column will be your final data column so over here for me the final data column is c so i'm going to enter c right over here and after entering this i'm going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see setup configured successfully so now i'm going to click on send test right over here in order to test this and yes you can see test data sent successfully so yes with this we have successfully connected our google sheets account with our pabli's workflow but before moving on towards our workflow i'll just let you know that you have to go on extensions pabli connect web books and as you can see send on event button so you have to switch this button on so it is a really important step otherwise the new events occurred in your spreadsheet would not be carried forward to your workflow so now after switching on this button we are going to move on towards our workflow and as soon as we're going to open our workflow yes you can see that we have received a response a so yes you can see the same details which were there in our spreadsheet over here you can see the spreadsheet name you can see the title you can see the trigger column you can see the sheet name the product name and the product features so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as the new details are added right over here in my spreadsheet automatically my workflow would be triggered and now we are going to move on forward we are going to select our action application as perplexity ai because we have to generate the content with the help of same so i'm going to search for perplexity ai right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the action event so i'm going to select it as create chat completion and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your perplexity ai account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token so to get this token we are going to follow the help text and it is saying log into your perplexity ai account navigate to the settings icon click on the api section and then generate the api key so as you can see that there's a hyperlink of api so i'm directly going to click on this hyperlink given right over here and as soon as we're going to do so you can see it is directly taking me to the api keys so what we have to do is we have to click on this generate right over here and as soon as we're going to click on generate you can see my api key so we're going to copy this api key and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after doing this we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save right over here you can see that we have successfully connected our perplexity ai account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the model so i'm going to select it as this you can select it as any another two and now it is asking me for the role so i'm going to keep it as user only and now it is asking me for the content user so basically it is asking me for the prompt right over here so i want the prompt to be write a blog post titled focus on the key features where you can see that i've kept title product name and product feature in brackets because i'm going to map these details so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google sheets as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we're going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the title right so let's suppose that i'm going to enter the title as xyz right over here manually so let's suppose that i'm going to enter it as this then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if you are going to map this from the previous response suppose you can see the title so let's suppose that we are going to map this top features of wireless earbuds in 2024 so yes you can see that we have mapped this and now this will definitely change with every new response received because now this has turned static and with this only we are going to run our workflow in real time so same we are going to do for the product name too i'm going to select it and then we are going to map the product name as you can see wireless earbuds and now if we are going to do same for the product features you can see the product features so we are going to map the same so yes after mapping these details it has become write a blog post titled focus on the key features product names such as product features provide the insights and over here you can see the additional information which is write in paragraphs keep the formatting as plain text you have to keep in mind that you have to enter these details too and after doing all of this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the maximum tokens so i'm going to keep it as 800 right over here you can keep it as you wish and now we are going to move on forward you can see that it is asking me for many another details so we are only going to fill in the required details right over here and then we are going to click on save and send 
contest request if you wish you can definitely fill out these left details too and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request button right over here you are going to see that we have received a positive response and over here you can see i'm going to scroll you can see the message content so as you can see the, the content generated with the help of perplexity ai so now using this same content only i'm going to create a new post in my wordpress account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another action step right over here directly and now for my action application i'm going to select it as wordpress so i'm going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as create a post and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to do so again it is asking me for the same so if you have already connected your wordpress account with the pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the wordpress email wordpress password of my account so i'm going to enter both of this right over here and after entering both of this it is asking me for the base url so you can see in the help text it is saying please provide your complete publicly accessible wordpress url including https so what we are going to do is i'm going to open my wordpress account right from here and as you can see that this is my url so let's suppose that i'm going to copy this url right from here and then we are going to paste it over here in our workflow as the base url so now after pasting this you can see that over here in the help text it is also saying if your wordpress site use common login url then the main url will be this rather than this so you have to enter the base url only so what we are going to do is we are going to remove this vp admin right from here and we are going to enter the base url till this only so if you wish to learn more about this you can click on this hyperlink given and now after doing this we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save right over here you can see that we have successfully connected our wordpress account with our pabli's workflow over here you can see connected and now it is asking me for the post type so i'm going to keep it as post only and now it is asking me for the post title so we are going to map the post title from the response of our google sheets so i'm going to search for title and as you can see the same so we are going to map it it is asking me for the post content so we have we are going to map the content from the response of our perplexity ai so i'm going to look for the content as you can see message content so we are going to map this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for money details so as you can see both of these are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank it is asking me for the status so i'm going to keep the status as published if you you can definitely keep it as draft also you can review and then further publish it but i'm directly going to keep it as published right over here it is asking me for the category id tags so as you can see both of these are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank right over here and now it is asking me for the featured media id i'm going to keep it as same you can see the format i'm going to keep it as standard we are going to move on forward you can see many another details so as you can see the all of these details are not the required details so again we are going to leave it as blank and directly going to click on save and send test request but if you wish you can definitely add these details you can definitely select one author id right from here but i'm going to keep all of this as same only and directly going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully created a new wordpress post in our wordpress account so i'm going to open my wordpress and check for the new post created with the same details so i'm going to open my wordpress account right from here we are going to go on post and then all posts and now i'm going to check for the post created and yes you can see top features of wireless earbuds in 2024 so yes we have successfully created this post so i'm going to click on view right over here and as soon as we are going to click on view yes you can see top features and you can see the same post content which we entered so yes with this we have successfully created this post and now what i want is i want to add this post link in my spreadsheet too right over here you can see the column which is generated blog post link so i'm going to add the same link there also for the further reviews so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another action step right over here and now for the action application i'm going to select it as google sheets again so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and after selecting this it is asking me for the action event so i'm going to select it as update cell value so i'm going to look for it and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now we are going to click on connect right over here and as soon as we are going to do so you can see again it is asking me for the same so i've recently connected my google sheets account with my pabli's workflow so i'm going to click on select existing connection and then save and as soon as we are going to click on save right over here yes you can see that we have successfully connected our google sheets account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet so over here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is content creation so i'm going to 
select the same right over here which is content creation and as soon as we are going to select the spreadsheet it is asking me to select the sheet so as you can see that I have only a single sheet in my spreadsheet so we are going to select the same only and now it is asking me for the range so it is saying enter the range of the sheet that needs to be updated so I want to update this which is D2 you can see the D is the column and the 2 is row index but you must be wondering that for this which is product name wireless earbuds the range is D2 but let's suppose that I am going to add another product name another product feature and the title right over here and generate the content for the same create a wordpress post for the same but for that the range would be something else which is d3 d4 d5 and this will move downwards so this row index will change with every new post created but as you can see the column will remain static only so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my workflow and over here for the range it is saying enter the column name plus row index so i'm going to enter the column name by typing like d right over here manually but we are going to map the row index because i want to change this row index with every new content generated and the wordpress post created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the row index for that i'm going to look for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it so now it is d2 but with the new post generated it will move downwards and after doing this we are going to move on forward it is asking asking me for the value so we are going to map the post link right over here for that i'm going to look for it and as you can see from the response of our wordpress we are going to map this which is the link of our post and after doing all of this i'm going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully added this link in our google sheets so i'm going to open my sheets and check for the link added and yes you can see the link has been added right over here so i'm going to open this link and check for the same post over here in our wordpress and Yes, you can see that this is the same post which we created same post link so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you real time example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my google sheets right from here we are going to add the product name product feature and the title of different product and then we are going to check that if our workflow is running in real time or not so let's suppose that i'm going to keep the product name as this smartwatch pro for the product features i want it to be this and now it is asking me for the title so i want the title to be this and after entering the title yes we have successfully did this test submission and after doing the test submission what has happened is that spreadsheet has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow probably captured the response triggered the workflow further generated the content with the help of perplexity ai created a wordpress post for the same and also probably is going to add the details of the blog post link right over here within few seconds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my wordpress and check for the new post created and yes you can see that we have received the blog post link to but what we are going to do is first we are going to open our wordpress and then we are going to look for this blog link so this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request directly i am going to open my wordpress account right from here we are going to go back to our wordpress we are going to look for the new post created with the new details that we entered so i am going to open my post and yes you can see a new post created right over here too and i am going to open the blog link right from here in my spreadsheet and check for the new blog created and yes you can see that this is the new blog post or the wordpress post created right over here with the help of our workflow so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected google sheets for the trigger event we selected new or updated spreadsheet rows for the action application we selected perplexity ai wordpress and google sheets because i wanted that as soon as the new details are added in my google sheets automatically with the help of the same details perplexity ai should generate the content and that with the help of that content only a post should be created in my wordpress account and then the blog post link should be added in my google sheets too so yes this automation streamlines content creation keeps my store updated with fresh product information and enhances the seo and customer engagement with minimal manual efforts so yes this was it for the video and over here you can see the two posts i created during this video with the help of my workflow and also i added these post link right over here in my spreadsheet too for the further reviews so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching